Hello, this is James Page here in Madrid at the FTTH Council meeting and I'm joined by Anique Martin, who is the MD of Basics Unitech. Um, Anique, thanks for coming and joining us. Um, lots of different discussions going on about the importance of delivering FTTH uh, across Europe here this week. One of the things you're particularly interested in is the issue and, and maybe the challenge that many people have got in terms of the skill shortages in the sector. So what's your assessment of, of how short we are on skills and, and what do we need to do to address it? Well, Belgium is a very small country and indeed we miss the skills to build the networks and to do all the connections. Uh, we have to visit all the houses, we have to contact everybody in, uh, in, in Flanders and Wallonia. And yes, we, we, we see that we have to attract people, first of all. Uh, we have to retain the people or certain people that we already have in our company, we have to reskill them and because we are leaving copper and we are leaving coax for fiber. So we need to reskill, rebuild these skills for, uh, for many people. And that's a challenge. Sorry. Um, yeah, okay, great. Well, thank you for, for explaining that. So um, in, 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 in Basics, which is a, Basics Unitech is a huge company, what are you particularly doing to try and attract as well as retain? Well, we have raised our own Fiber Academy because we can see that the schools are not yet adapted to deliver the right skill sets. So we attract people by promising them that we will learn them how to do and what to do, which helps, of course, to attract young people leaving school and then, then having this challenge. Um, and then once we uh, have the skills in our company, then we try to attract them with a, a career move plan where they can yeah, get higher salaries, but also move from, from a simple welder to more complex things. So we guide the people really uh, in their career uh, in fiber. And uh, obviously you're part of a, a, a huge company that, that covers lots of the parts of the deployment um, uh, the deployment infrastructure. Um, are there any particular areas that are more difficult to recruit for than others? Mainly welders. Fibre welders are difficult. In design, design engineers or designers, that's more easy because people coming out of school with the skill sets of being ICT related uh, um, education, they can easily adapt to, to, to do design. But it's really the knowledge on the fibre and then the, the, the real physical fibre welding that is a problem. And of course, we need a lot of trenching activities because we need to open all streets and all and get in all houses. There we see a lot of skills coming from abroad, which is good because we don't have in Belgium the own resources to do all these trenching works. Uh, the numbers have been published, I think, yesterday. I think in Belgium you are only at 20% penetration of, of fiber to, to the home. So we still have a lot to do, but there are countries who are at 97 or even almost done. So we expect somewhere that resources will move. We hope that this mobility in Europe will happen and that resources will come for many doing this trenching work. Well, that's really interesting because presumably um, if you're operating in that European wide market, those skills then, uh, because they are required so keenly, that, does that make it much more expensive if you're having to go out outside of Belgium? Of course, yeah. It, that drives prices up. If you have yeah, it, it's resources problems, then prices go up. Absolutely. And if people come from abroad, of course, they, they have more costs. They need to be housed, they need to be, uh, they have visa problems, or they, they need to be uh, regulated with a lot of administration around it, which costs all money. Sure. And um, so uh, what about diversity? We've heard a lot in the past about that there, there is a diversity issue within this sector. Do you think there still is? And is there anything we can particularly do to, 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 to make the industry more diverse? Well, diversity is, is a broad um, uh, thing, uh, but talking about women in the sector, uh, indeed, it is very difficult to get to get ladies uh, doing this job, although it's perfectly possible. So we try to attract uh, women in our uh, Fiber Academy, uh, but what is a pity is that in the education already at a younger age, uh, schools do not attract enough uh, girls in technical uh, orientations and that's a pity that should change 
Okay, well, uh, fingers crossed um, that we do see some of that change, and I'm sure everything uh, people can see what, what Bessex Unitech are doing to try and uh, address that in Belgium. Thank you for coming over and talking to us today. Nice to meet you. Thank you.